You can study in the morning, you can study at night. You can study outside by a campfire light. You can study with the rabbi. The Torah service is the highlight of any Jewish worship service. When we come together and each week read a different portion from the Torah, it allows us to connect ourselves to all who've come before us and Jews around the world who are reading the same Torah portion as we are. In this video, I want to show you all the different ways that you can participate in the Torah service, from holding the Torah, to having an aliyah, saying the blessings of the Torah, to lifting and wrapping the Torah. When it's time to participate in the Torah service, you'll be coming up to the bima. How do you get up to the bima? You walk, of course. But you know, we Jews, we like to sanctify everything that we do. And so even coming up to the bima has a certain way that it's done. Traditionally, you approach the bima, the raised platform, from the shortest route possible. That's a way to indicate that you're eager to come up, you're eager to participate. And then when you leave the bima, you leave from the longest route possible, indicating that you wish you didn't have to go. Once you've come up on the bima, we take the Torah out of the ark. When we lift or carry the Torah, we hold it on our right shoulder. The reason for this is that tradition teaches us that wisdom is associated with the right. Since the Torah is our greatest source of wisdom, we always hold the Torah on our right shoulders. For me, it's most comfortable to take my right hand and place it underneath on the wood to hold the Torah, and then I can walk around and share it with all the people in the congregation. When I do walk around, I want to make sure to give people the opportunity to touch and kiss the Torah. Then I bring it back up to the bima, and it's time to start reading. With the Torah on the table, we can undress it by taking the cover off, and then the chagura, the belt. We'll be using this a little later on. One of the things that's important to remember about the Torah is that it's written on a special parchment, with a special quill pen, and a special ink. And it takes up to a year to write a Torah, and many tens of thousands of dollars. So it's important that we not touch the letters with our hands or our fingers. That's because our fingers have oils on them that when they comes in contact with the letters can actually smudge or break the letters. That would render our Torah unusable. So instead, we use a yad, a pointer. When you come up for your aliyah, the person who's reading the Torah will point to you with the yad where in the text we begin. When they point to the spot in the Torah, take the chagura, the belt, or the corner of your talit. Touch the spot, give it a little kiss, roll the scroll together, hold on to it, and begin the prayer. Here's a quick way to remember. Touch, kiss, roll, hold, pray. Here are the blessings to say over the Torah. Baruch et Adonai Hamvorach, Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed, Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Haamim, Vin Atan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Hatorah. After you say the blessings, the Torah reader will open the Torah and begin reading. You can help by holding on to the Torah as the reader chants. After the reading is done, take the Chagura or your Talit, touch the spot again, kiss, roll, hold, and pray. Here are the blessings for after the Torah reading. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher natan lanu torat emet, vechaye olam nata bitochinu, baruch ata adonai, noten hatorah. After we complete the Torah reading, it's time to show everyone in the congregation what was just read. This is called Hagba, or the lifting, the raising up of the Torah. If you're doing Hagba, when you come up to the Torah, grab the two atzechaim, the two wooden holders at the bottom, Pull the Torah over the edge, and then open up the Torah to about two or three columns. Traditionally, we try and show everybody three full columns of the Torah. Using the edge of the table as a fulcrum, push down and lift up, turning around to show everybody 
what was just read from the Torah. After Hagba, you'll be guided over to one of the chairs where you'll take a seat, and then we'll wrap and dress the Torah. If you're dressing the Torah, you'll be doing it at a chair where the person who just lifted is holding the Torah. Start by rolling the scroll together so it's nice and tight. Then take the chagura, the belt that we used earlier, wrap it around the Torah, and make sure that the clasp or the Velcro is facing the person who's holding the Torah, so it's on the front of the scroll. Then take the cover and place that on the Torah in the same way, making sure that the front of the cover is facing the front of the Torah and the person who's holding the Torah. Finally, you'll want to return any silver, like the yad or a breastplate or the crown, onto the Torah as well. Once it's all dressed, we'll be able to put the Sefer Torah away and close the ark. When you finish having your honor, lots of people will want to say congratulations. But rather than say Mazel Tov, when you come off the Bima, having been so close to the Torah, instead we say Yishar Kalach, may your strength increase. See, Torah is a little bit like um, kryptonite was to Superman. Superman came from the planet Krypton. He could not have existed without kryptonite. But yet when he comes close to it, because it's so powerful, it zaps some of his energy. It drains some of his power. We have the same relationship with Torah. We can't live without it. But when we get close to it, because it's so powerful, it takes some of our energy from us. It drains some of our strength. So when we come off the bima, people say to us, Yishar koach, may your strength be increased. And we say back to them, Baruch Tehiyah, may you be a blessing also. So to each of you who've participated in our service, Yishar koach, may your strength be increased. Hi, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about me and my work, visit me online at www.davidpaskin.com. If you'd like to learn about my community, Temple Beth David, in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, visit us online at myjewish.community. Have a great day.